The work was commissioned by um, a wonderful contemporary music festival called the Prestine Festival in Wales and we did the um, premiere there and then we performed it again um, in London at St John Smith Square with George Fass who's a wonderful man and who knew Peter very well. I actually met Peter for the first time at the Prestine Festival a few years before that um, and he was the composer in residence there and I was playing one of his pieces, a chamber music piece at the time and uh, we went out and had dinner later and you know, <laughs> that's how all these things happen I guess, it turned into a concerto, <laughs> fortunately for me. <laughs> he called the piece Island Songs um, and uh, it's a piece that's in two movements um, and it's based on three uh, songs from far north Australia. So the first song um, that he uses in the concerto is called Thursday Island Song and it, until he wrote the concerto, it was a largely forgotten song. It, he actually discovered it in a bookshop and he told me this story while he was writing the piece. He went um, up to Thursday Island, he went into a second-hand bookshop and um, took a book out from the bookcase, opened it up and out fell a small piece of manuscript paper onto the floor. And it was this song that he has largely based this concerto on. It had many many years ago been sung as a song of hope and inspiration by the indigenous inhabitants and then during the second world war it was sung as a song of hope by the australian troops he told me that it had been mostly forgotten and so fortunately he's kind of saved it from extinction i guess um uh, by putting it into this concerto and, and that's yeah. the thing you know yeah. when that's why I'm so grateful to be able to do this because little mm. things like that, unless we actually say, you know, record that, mm. then nobody else will know it, you know, it's, it's, um, it's so important. Mm.